Alright, budget magic time. Saddling up <laughs> in standard with Crested Sunmare. Mono White Sunmare. The deck is awesome. I love it. It's so sweet. Uh, let's just play Desert. This means we can't play Thraben Inspector yet, but I think it's fine. Pass the turn. Sanctum, Attune with Aether. Ooh, maybe we'll get to put the Solemnities, which I was so excited about in our sideboard, to use. Opponent passes. Aerial Responder. Well, let's Glory Bound Initiate. This is a high-risk, high-reward play. If we draw land, it's going to be great. If not, we can't even crack a clue next turn. Opponent has Spire Bluff Canal. And Servant of the Conduit. Oh, come on, land. One time deck. Be good to us. Yes! All right. Always watching. Coming down. Combo. Combo. It's a combo. Now we get to exert for free. Start hitting for five. Gaining huge chunks of life. And we have a lot of action left in hand. Opponents down to 15. We're up to 25. 10 point life swing from Glory Bound Initiate. Card is so good with always watching. Bonant. Harness Lightning. Kills the Glory Bound Initiate. Yep. Can't really do anything about it. Gets in. Gets in with the Servant. Well, we mostly just want to draw more lands. Land? Yes! Deck! Alright. Play Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Play Aerial Responder. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Forest. Glory Bringer is annoying. Oh, just a Bristling Hydra. Bristling Hydra is a lot less scary. It might mean that we play Always Watching here, though. Cast Out. Oh, man. Worried about Glory Bringer. Let's play it safe. Play another Always Watching. Get in with Responder. This means that our Responder doesn't just get sniped down by a Glory Bringer. And it also means our Gisela next turn will be out of Glory Bringer range. Aerial Responder has been pretty impressive. Pieces of the puzzle. Interesting. <laughs> Whiffs! <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's why you don't play Pieces of the Puzzle in a creature deck. Electrostatic Pummeler. Well, now we probably just gotta cast out that, actually. So we don't accidentally die to the doubling. Jeez, another always watching. Well... Main phase cast out while your opponent's tapped out. Get rid of Pummels. And get in with Aerial Responder. Yeah, we definitely get to bring in Solemnities. Hit our opponent. Down to 7. We're up to 31. Uh, this has went pretty well. Haven't even had to play a horse or drawn a horse. We've just played Always Watchings. Another Servant. More energy for our opponent. Goes to combat. Goes attacking. Yeah, we might as well block. We don't want to die to something weird and janky and double strikey. And this makes it a little less likely. Opponent passes. Jeez, just all the always watchings. So we'll get in with Aerial Responder. Put our opponent down to three. Play Gisela. Pass the turn. And our opponent's got to deal with both of our threats and Glory Bringer doesn't do it. And our opponent scoops it up. Not beating the lifelink. All right, Solemnity, it is your time to hopefully shine. We're at least going to try it and hope that it's good. Do we change anything else is the biggest question. And what do we go down for Solemnity? We go down one Always Watching, one Aether Sphere Harvester, and maybe one Stasis Snare. Wraths seem like they could be helpful as well. Go up a Fumigate for Gisela... Fumigate Lone Rider? Maybe like that? Something like that. Yeah, let's try it like that. Okay, no Solemnity, but this draw is actually pretty fine. Game Trail for our... Ooh, we got the horse. Pass the turn. I mean, it's a ways off, but we have life gain available. Phonant. Starts with Servant. Of the Conduit. Yep. Play the Plains. Play Glorybound Initiate. Pass the turn. Phonant. Voltaic Brawler. Okay. And passes. We get another Sun Mare. Well, let's just exert Glory Bound Initiate. See what our opponent does. Opponent takes it. Yeah, let's Stasis Snare. 
opponent could have a blossoming defense, but getting rid of servant would be big game since our opponent missed a land drop. All right, well, we didn't get rid of servant, but our opponent had to spend a good card and an energy to keep servant. Game trail tapped. Opponent gets in with Voltaic Brawler. Spends the energy. Yep, down to 20. It's nice to be going down to 20. Another servant. Well, play the planes. I think we pass, leave up cast out to deal with a glory bringer, and then next turn we glory bound initiate crested sunmare. Opponent hits us, not spending the energy. Okay, down to seventeen. Bristling hydra, and we can't actually cast out it, can we? Well, let's cast out. I guess we get rid of the voltaic brawler. Opponent gets energy. We draw a desert. Play the planes. Attack and exert. We're probably going to lose our glory bound initiate. The upside is we're going to start making horses. Of course, of course. Yeah, opponent blocks. They can double pump. That also puts our opponent out of energy and means the servants aren't doing anything. Double pumps. Yep. Yeah, all right. We lose glory bound initiate. Go back to 21. And get our horse down. Crested Sunmare. And comes along with a friend, leading the stampede, literally. And if our opponent can't kill our Crested Sunmare this exact turn, next turn we get down second Crested Sunmare. All horses are indestructible. Larger than life. Yup. Opponent attacks. Do they have the right combination of stuff to kill us? Attack, block with our indestructible horse. They would need double strike and another pump spell. They do not. We draw Thraben Inspector. Uh, okay. Crested Sunmare. Oh, good game. The second Crested Sunmare. <laughs> it's so sweet. Especially against this deck, which I'm pretty sure just does not have ways to deal with this. I'm not expecting Hour of Devastation. I feel like we just have our opponent locked. No attacks. Play Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Sack the clue. Play Aerial Responder. Play a Planes, pass the turn. Um, I guess we can get in with one horse. We do want to be conservative so we can put a lot of toughness in front of Bristling Hydra so we don't draw a uh, die to random pump spells. Opponent blocks, pass the turn. And next turn, we start making 10 more power every time we attack with Aerial Responder. Crested Sunmare is absurd. If you don't think that card is absurd, it is so insane. Bristling Hydra, sure. That used to be a good card before Crested Sunmare was a thing. Desert of the True. Well, get in with Aerial Responder. Cycle Desert. Play Glory Bound Initiate. And pass the turn. Make some horses. <laughs> uh, so we should have the win next turn. It's so insane. I mean, Crested Sunmare, it is ridiculous. It really is. Opponent pumps the Hydra. I can't imagine they can kill us through Radiant Flames. Okay. Kills our lifelink stuff. Our opponent, I think, is still dead on board, though. They can't beat the herd. Tag with everything? <laughs> it's so good. It really is. Oh, and our opponent sunmared into oblivion. It is so good. It's so good. It's, re it's really, really, really good. Oh, yes. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.